kids, thanks for tuning in. As you can see, my dad did not end up selling the Chevelle, so he's going to give you a bit of a walk around. And he got some cool magnets to put on the side. Hey Dan, run that intro! Hey Gearheads, thanks for tuning in. So, spoiler alert, we did not trade the 72 Malibu, so we do still have it, which means we're gonna go ahead with cleaning out the interior, probably pulling out the seats and pulling out the carpet so you can see the condition of it, and then it's probably gonna be for sale after that. We're just gonna clean up some more things on it, maybe the engine bay, and we'll be good to go. So, let's take a look at the body so you can see a little bit more about the condition of it. So this is the front end, you see we're missing a headlight. We do have uh, the nice grill on there. Of course, the yellow parts of the car are the parts that were replaced after the accident. The white is the original stuff. And we are missing a bumper on the front here too. You can see overall the car looks pretty good. All the panels are here. The white ones, again, are original. The yellow and the blue hood have been replaced. Looking at the fender here, it does have a lot of surface rust on it. But down here in the front, it actually is pretty solid. And the opening looks pretty good. It does have the, uh, the holes for the SS emblems, which we do not have. And down here, it does get a little more rough. Uh, probably will need a lower section. Looking back here, you can see the rocker actually looks pretty solid. And this door does have the uh, clips for the trim that you can see on the quarter panel back here. Down at the front of the quarter panel, actually the body looks pretty good. A little bit of surface rust on the bottom and it's got a hole right there. You see coming around the wheel opening, um, it does have another hole in here. But the rest of it looks pretty solid. I'm sure there's a little more hiding behind this trim. And then of course the lower back of the quarter is gone. And see what that looks like. The roof, again, has a lot of surface rust on it. The uh, trim is gone. You can see the original seals are pretty uh, broken up. Around the back window, actually it looks pretty good. It's got a um, hole in here. It has a bottom area by the trunk. Sorry. And then the rest of it looks pretty good. Here's the top of the trunk lid. Again, a lot of surface rust, but the top of the trunk lid and the top of the quarters look pretty good. Coming across the back, I uh, do have a rear bumper. It's pushed in a little bit on the right side there. And then underneath, of course, there's no trunk floor. You can't see that, can you? You can see this rear frame rail is a little bit twisted, so it will neither need to be repaired or the frame may need to be replaced. That's up to you what you want to do with it. You can see the outer trunk floors, uh, the extensions have some holes in them. And the lower extensions, there's some Bondo in here, but it uh, looks pretty solid. The trunk floor is gone, so we're looking at the uh, back of the back seat area up there. So we'll definitely need a trunk floor. You do get some socks with it, looks like. Oh, there they are down there. Well, bolt is here with the sway bar. That's pretty nice. Looks like everything is there for that. Uh, just probably need to be cleaned up. Drum brakes on the back. And then this is a passenger rear frame rail. You can see it's got a hole in it there. So again, that will need attention. This is the inner quarter extension on the right side. And the uh, trunk floor extension up here. And this quarter has some issues up here in the corner. 
And then down here, of course, the bottom of the quarter is eaten away. Got a little bit more surface rust on this side. Doesn't look too bad. And coming down the passenger side, rocker here. You can see it looks pretty good. All the way up to the front. Until you get to that fender. Again, this is the, uh, the fender that was put on the car after the accident. You can see it does have the holes for the SS. This is the uh, front of the quarter. You can see same thing around the wheel well trim. It's got some some more issues. Not a whole lot of body damage here, but a little bit of rust going on down there. Back of the door, doors are pretty solid. And there's the A-pillars coming down. Again, a lot more surface rust in there, but looks pretty solid going all the way down front. The windshield is cracked. So, I would assume you'd be replacing the glass anyway. 1982. The hood is a cowl hood. It does have holes for the hood pins on it. And it does have a little bit of damage on it right here too. It's kind of hard to see. A little dent right there. So the bottom of this fender is not attached uh, um, to that inner support. In there, sorry. Uh, so the bottom of this fender, if you kept it, would probably need to be cut right here and uh, replace that lower section of the back. The rest of the fender is okay. It's got a little dings and dents. It does have some damage up here in the front. And this uh, little rough down here in the front part. It says the original numbers matching engine. I don't even know what it is. I'm assuming it's a 350. Um, it does have the numbers right down in here. It looks somewhat uh, original. There's some brackets and things hanging off of it. We do have the heater box here. We're missing the inner fenders. Uh, somebody has taken off the uh, disc brakes and put on drum brakes. So disc brakes would need to be put back on. The firewall looks real nice. Do have the booster and master here, the wiper motor is here, the body tag is back there, hood hinges are working, steering column is here, is a fan, uh, power steering, power brakes, all the suspension is here, including a front sway bar as well. Down there. No radiator or anything on the front of it, so this all uh, is all missing. Washer bottle is no longer with us. Rad support. Looks pretty rusty. And it's got a little bend down in here. Headlight buckets are both here. This looks like the original one. So that's uh, in nice shape. And then this one is the one off of the parts car. These are cast, so they wouldn't be bent, it would just be broken. Looks like it's in good shape. Of course the hood has the usual points of uh, stress right in front of the hinges there. Underneath the hood, uh, looks like if you blasted and painted it, it would probably be alright. You just got to get over this uh, damage here in front uh, of the hinge, which they all kind of bend here. Opening up the door. <clears throat> so this is the uh, the front of the quarter. You can see it's pretty pretty solid in here. A little bit of rust right down at the bottom of this front area, but the top of the rocker looks real nice. I do have to clean out this interior the rest of the way. Pull these seats out. This is the uh, the front of the uh, the bottom of the A-pillar looks pretty good in there. You got the door hinges. SS. 
Sorry it got kind of dark and it's late here, but I wanted to shoot something for you guys and give you something to look at. Uh, next week we'll probably get more into cleaning out the Malibu or maybe doing a little bit more work on the SS. But until then, stay positive and keep on wrenching.